Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the given partial differential equation. The equation is in the form of capital P into small p plus capital Q into small q equal to capital R. So, the first term is x into small p and second term is minus y into small q and the last term is x into z. So, from this we can understand what is capital P, what is capital Q and what is capital R. So, that we are going to write it separately. Capital P is X, capital Q is minus Y and capital R is X, Z. Now, to get the solution, we have to solve DX by capital P equal to DY by capital Q equal to DZ by capital R. Now, DX by X equal to dy by minus y equal to dz by xz. Now, taking first two terms, we are going to get a solution. This is in the variable separable form, x on one side and y on other side. So, directly we integrate. This becomes log x and this is minus log y. Since all the terms are log, instead of c1 we take log c1, the constant. Now, combining these two, log a minus log b, log a by b. So, this is the term in the numerator, this is minus, so it will come in the denominator. Now, removing log, we get x is equal to c1 by y and by cross multiplication, we get xy equal to c1. So, we take this as u that is x y. In the same way, we have to take the other two terms. If I take second and third, here there is an extra term x. But if I take this, then I can substitute x from this c1 by y and again I can continue. But instead, I can also take first and last. So, it will be easier without any substitution we can continue the integration that is dx by x is equal to dz by xz. We can cancel this on integration. This we get x equal to log z plus c2. So, x minus log z will be our c2 and this is taken as v. v is x minus log z. Now, using this, we can give the general solution and it is in the form of f of u comma v equal to 0. So, f of x y comma x minus log z equal to 0. Thus, we got the solution using the Lagrange method.